So these, these posters are the product of the research uh, done by students. So uh, <clears throat> I would ask Dr. Olson to come and to give us a few remarks. Uh, then I'll continue with that for another couple of minutes and, and, and start the day. The Frozen, the Frozen is, everybody knows, she's the provost of Pittsburgh State University. Thank you and good morning. Um, it's good to see. You never know if there's going to be life on the campus at 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, this is the first place that I've worked a little aside where uh, things didn't start really till 8. I mean, I was used to going to 7 o'clock meetings and uh, 7.30 functions, and so it's been a, a bit of an adjustment, but I've adjusted <laughs> to life at Pittsburgh State. I should have. I've been here 20 years now. And over those 20 years, uh, I've seen so many areas of growth uh, for the university, and certainly in these last years, as I've had the privilege of serving as the provost for Pittsburgh State, uh, and, and really had an opportunity to see uh, a much broader uh, level of engagement and, and work across all the myriad of disciplines and, and across all of the uh, co-curricular areas. Uh, I just think we're in a fabulous place as an institution and you represent so much of that. Uh, I just have to thank once again publicly Dr. Cajal and his leadership uh, to elevate uh, the importance and recognition of research at Pittsburgh State. Uh, we've always done research, uh, but certainly the engagement of students, both undergraduates and graduate students at a different level, is uh, what we ought to be doing as a university. And to recognize that on a day like today where you look around the room, you need to come stand up here and see, uh, see all of the posters from this vantage point because it's very, very impressive. I remember a couple of years ago, uh, the, the posters were uh, congregated at the, uh, in the lobby of the Bicknell Center, which was a gorgeous venue, wonderful. Uh, but I think that says something. They fit then. Uh, last year, I think we were in this little segment of the ballroom. Look at the expansion now. And then uh, Dr. Hall was uh, noting some of his vision for the future and future engagement even beyond Pittsburgh State. So kudos to obviously uh, his leadership, but to all of you because as students, as faculty, as staff members, you have all contributed in a very meaningful way uh, to elevate uh, the um, uh, recognition of scholarship research, uh, creative endeavors on our campus. So thank you so much for all that you do to uh, help us investigate uh, so many different areas of life and our world around us that must be uh, investigated. <clears throat> this morning, uh, I wanted to stay home to see uh, our uh, PHS high school students uh, on, uh, was it, was it CBS or uh, one of those shows? And I just, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. Uh, I just needed to get some things done in the office. Uh, but it brought to mind how important it is for all of us to ask questions, no matter what you think of that whole uh, situation and how it's unfolded. I think the, the nugget that I take away from that is that students asked questions. And when they didn't get the answers that they thought they should get, they predicted there's something more here behind the scenes and we need to dig in and find those answers. So that is research. That is pure and simple research. And so for us to encourage that uh, on our campus and to keep the momentum going uh, is just a tremendous thing and gives me great uh, pleasure to see that unfold. So uh, to those of you who are going to do oral presentations today, good luck. Uh, it would be a great learning experience for those who have posters uh, with us. Congratulations on that research and the work that you've done. Uh, they're, they're just, they're beautiful. 
And I don't mean, yes, they're physically beautiful, but what they represent uh, just uh, brings great encouragement, I know, to our faculty and to the staff uh, of Pittsburgh State. And you will uh, go forth from this place and use that investigative process uh, to learn more about the world around you and certainly to share that uh, no matter what your profession and no matter where your career takes you. Uh, so at that, welcome, congratulations. Thank you so much for all that you represent to Pittsburgh State and to the world around us. You know, I'm glad Dr. Olson mentioned uh, this Pittsburgh High School story. Uh, this morning, uh, Dr. Bonnick Essen sent me uh, the write-up from New York Times. It also has the pictures of the six students. Uh, again, a wonderful story. Uh, uh, it's research. I mean, you know, if, if you really literally want to know what is research, it, it comes to search, 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 search. You know, you keep on searching until you have something, something new, and you share with the with the people. So, uh, it's an awesome uh, example of uh, what research is. Uh, we have a, uh, a total of 170 students uh, participating in in the research colloquium. Uh, 130 presentations, uh, 54 graduate presentations, and 76 undergraduate presentations. Uh, again, uh, uh, there is there is so much intelligence around us. Uh, there are so many questions to ask. Endless, okay, infinite. Uh, uh, and, and, and there's no, I mean, even children, little kids, infants, they are curious. And as we become older, become more and more curious. And there are questions at each level. Uh, the freshman level questions and, and sophomore level questions and so on. Uh, uh, to me, the research uh, should be a part of uh, learning or teaching as soon as a student comes to Pittsburgh State University as a freshman, as soon as the student takes the first class, uh, which really means that we have to uh, be integrating uh, research and, and the curriculum, 100% integration. Uh, in, in fact, uh, you know, under the stewardship of Dr. Olson, uh, two departments, physics uh, and psychology, uh, sent a proposal to the Council uh, of Undergraduate Research. Uh, the proposal was to integrate the curriculum in these two four-year curriculum, all the courses, integrate with research. So the introductory courses, the the senior level, everything uh, involved with research. So the, uh, we were not funded because it, uh, uh, we were one of the 200 applications, uh, and these applications were from Ivy League schools and you know all the all the MITs and Harvards and so on. Uh, but we did present a, a, a good proposal, and we thought about it. These departments, we thought about it, and so so this this is the, the fact that research should be there uh, uh, is being recognized on this campus, and and this is also another example uh, that research is you know if you look at the seal of our university, seal of our university, it explicitly says instruction, research, and service. And then teaching and, and, and research, they are not inseparable. Well, they are not separate. So, uh, so we have to be integrating uh, these, these uh, two uh, 
as much as we can. And again, I think kudos, I, I, they, they made more statistics. I have uh, you know, the curiosity, I mean, you know what research is, you know, uh, this beautiful example of these students doing research, it, it doesn't matter uh, whether uh, it's the humanities or the arts or the sciences, uh, the research has the same meaning. Uh, it solves problems. Uh, so you put in effort and come up with new conclusions. Uh, so uh, you, you must have heard me many times say that uh, research can be done even when you're sitting at home, when you're doing shopping or in the laboratory. So there are different kinds of ways you can do research. Uh, the only thing is that you have to come up with new knowledge. And new knowledge uh, can be of different kinds and of different nature. Uh, the, 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 you, know, you might be wondering, what do you mean creating new knowledge? Uh, which really means that it has to be accepted as new knowledge. If I sit down and do something, I say, oh, this is new knowledge. Well, uh, it has to have some acceptance, uh, which means your advisor or somebody else. Say, yeah, I mean, this is this is neat stuff. So uh, uh, this is important uh, because we are an institution of uh, uh, higher education. Okay. We are not a community college. I think the research needs to uh, needs to be front and center, uh, center for us. Uh, and then, although I said it's a recognition of uh, uh, of what our students and faculty have achieved, it's it's kind of a, uh, uh, a celebration. But at the same time, I think uh, this should also remind us every day. Uh, uh, that research is, should be a part of us. Uh, we must always uh, uh, convey to our students uh, that they do not have to accept what we tell them. Okay. It's, it's, it's a process also of self-discovery. So they have to ask, why are we doing it? And, and you know, research has changed our lives from a quantum level, you know, teeny weeny uh, sub-electronic level to the celestial level. And, and then we do it because we are just curious creators. So anyway, uh, I, I do need to uh, thank uh, my staff members. Uh, Brian Peary, I think he did this wonderful job. It's, 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 a, it's a lot of work uh, to, to coordinate. And then uh, he was supported by, uh, by Barbara Harley, he was supported by Janelle William, he was supported by Bibi, Lisa Allen, and uh, am I missing somebody? Janet. Janet. And Janet uh, Miller. Uh, once again, uh, have a wonderful day. And uh, you will really enjoy the nature of the topics addressed by students. We have oral sessions as well as uh, posters. And by the way, I was told by Brian uh, that students from uh, Prairie View High School uh, are coming here visiting uh, us uh, in the morning from 9 to 12. Uh, and they'll be visiting uh, and, and seeing uh, uh, what kind of research we're doing here. I and mean, that is beautiful. And I think uh, Dr. Olson uh, alluded to this. Uh, from, uh, from next year, we will also invite students from high schools with their posters. So each high school can send us two students with posters so that uh, so that they can see what we are doing at Pittsburgh State University and they can also be valued uh, by an institution of higher education. Again, have a great day and uh, enjoy. All right, thank you.